sir. This is private property. Please. This is not private property. Yes, I am not is. in violation of any formal warning that you're giving me right now. I am not in violation. This is not your land. You should know your jurisdiction, sir. I do. Call the police. Do it. I'm doing that right Please. now. Please. I told you once. I'll tell you again. I'll tell you as many times as you need. I'll tell the police. This is not your property. I'm not in violation of anything. If you're gonna, if you're gonna call them right now, you are falsifying information to authorities that I'm failing to leave property that is not yours. I'm done with you guys. Yeah, Lies. Scott with the Puget Peak Security. We have a person that is uh, on our property. Falsifying information to authorities. They're falsifying information to authorities right now. I have asked them to leave. Nope. He's not leaving. I am not on the property right now. I'm not on the property. Pardon? Now he's uh, well, probably about six one, six two. Right now, this guy is falsifying beard. information to authorities. No. Lying. Is he a white person? He's got a long red beard. He doesn't know his jurisdiction. He thinks that I'm on his private property right now. I am not on his private property right now. He's falsifying information to the cops uh, right now. We have 45 federal lawsuits sort of against cops that don't know their jurisdiction like this. I'm really sorry you have to see this man. Uh, hey man, believe me, we've been there. There are more racist. Hey man, you do realize that we have federal lawsuits uh, yeah. that we need help on. That's why we're in this boat. He doesn't have a backpack. Dude, you are victim shaming us. Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Slave patrol. That's what you are, dude. You're a freaking slave patrol. Why don't you go back to where you no. came from? Hey, man, you're holding up the light. Peace out. Uh, he's right on. Uh, I'm not on your property. I'm not on your property. I'm not on your property. Hey, dispatch, I'm not on his property. You're in so much trouble, man. What's your name? Mr. S. Phillips. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. leaving because it's not private property. Thank you. You do realize that this isn't your jurisdiction. Now you're going to get a cop to illegally arrest me on private property. That's not private property, buddy. This ain't your jurisdiction. Really? This How so? Owned, this is owned by Newmark Merrill. You are an amateur. So let's clarify a couple things. You told me to leave, right? And I refused to leave, right? And that's what you just reported to the police, right? If this isn't your property, and you're val you are claiming this is your property, right? You are committing a misdemeanor, possibly even a felony, of submitting false information to authorities, if not attempting to influence a public servant through deceit. You do realize that. You do realize how incredibly in trouble you are right now thinking that this is your property <clears throat> this is not your property i am not in violation of any formal warning that you gave me you are so busted man what are you looking up So sick and tired of security guards that don't know their shit. Well, I mean, our little protest was going on. And uh, we stand about two feet away from the
so busted. You are in so much trouble, man. You have no idea how many lawsuits that we have against people like you and dirty cops that don't know their jurisdictions. Seriously, man. You think this is your property right here where I'm standing? Not your property, dude. Somebody that is, what, charity crop. Maybe there's pretty legitimate reasons as to why I'm holding the sign. Also, looks like I'm not doing anything either. I'm just holding the sign. I'm free to do that, man. I'm free to hold this sign all day long on this, this property. This is public property right here. This is mine. You got some issues, dude. Why would you be so quick to tell police false information? I can't wait to have you charged. If the cops don't charge you, we'll just add that to our complaint. Hey man, not right now. This guy, this guy thinks this is his property. subject to a 42 U.S.C. 1980 But I'm telling you right now that this officer, Sir Phillips, has falsified information to you claiming that this is his property. This is not his property. I would suggest that you go look up the property lines, as I did, and if you'd like, I can pull out my phone right now and show you, but I'm not interested in being arrested. I'm also not interested in suing you. But if you violate my rights, you are going to be sued. And or there's a criminal charge for you. So this property does belong to the mall, okay? And if he's asked you to leave, then you need to leave. Okay, so again, very I'm I'm trying to work with you here. Okay. Where I'm standing is not his property. And how do you know that? Because I looked up your maps myself first before him. This is not our first rodeo. We have forty-five federal lawsuits that against police and security guards who don't know their jobs. So I'm actually trying to save you right now from adding yourself to that list. We happen to have this happen to us all the time. That's why we go read our orders at a time. We go look at our maps at a time. So I'm pretty concerned right now that you essentially jumped on that same bandwagon and just said this meeting is his. When I'm willing to give you exculpatory so who information. owns this property? This, this is a long way. This is public property right here. Remember I'm saying it. This island is public? If, see, that's the thing is, I don't want to give you so much information that you end up using it to get out of your own crimes or whatever, but you know how to establish your jurisdiction, right? What, do you use maps? I sure do. I would suggest and I would ask. So, I mean, I can show you my map. It's going to be the same map sure, that you brought up. Map, please. So that's the thing is that I don't want to have to do your guys' job for you. Okay. Can I see your identification, please? Now, see, that's the thing. Um, okay, I, I'll give it, I promise. But I'm asking you that since I've given this information to you, that you don't have a reasonable suspicion because you are denying my exculpatory information. You're not going to provide me the map that shows that this boat does not belong to him? The burden of proof is not me. Right. So they, they said this is their property, therefore they, he's asked you to leave. Now, that one you could go thing stand on the sidewalk right there. That I is, that is city that. property. Um, do keep in mind that this man is also subject to falsifying information to you. He may have lied, and I don't think you have the right okay. to take him in good faith. I do. Without going he looking at your own for the mall, okay, as have the security. Have you looked at a map? Therefore, if, if this is what he says is his property, I'm going on good faith that that is his property. In the absence... I know this does not belong to the city. Now, when it comes to exact property lines, not exact, but pretty much using a map, you wouldn't necessarily have the good faith to take him at his word when I just told you that I looked at the same map that you would be using right now. You can go look up right now. And so, you can I see your me. information, please? Okay, in that case, I will give you the information. Okay. Uh, but do understand that you will be subject to a 42 USC. 
You do not have reasonable suspicion to detain him. I do. Reasonable suspicion is that he says this is his property and he's asked you to leave. That's reasonable suspicion. I'm here telling you that he says this is his property and I'm asking you to leave. You're refusing to do so. Where's your brother? Uh, not here. Um, keep so in mind I that, well, I don't, I don't have an ID on me. So what's your last name, sir? Uh, just one more last time. I'm not going to continue Okay, William with Montgomery. I, I won't obstruct. I'm not violating the law. This is this is public property where I'm at right now. William, what's your date of birth? 775. I'm, I'm really sorry that this man had to put you through this. If you would have just walked over on the sidewalk and vacated his property, we wouldn't even have to go this route. I have my rights, and I know that this is public property. Show I me your not. map that you keep claiming that you have, so that I can see Boy. that you have a valid point, and I can maybe tell him to go look at his map. But I'm also I familiar. Mean, I've been here why for ten years. With him? Okay. Why I've been here for ten need years. Why would you use a map when you have one? Why do I have to do your job for you? You don't. But I'm saying what I'm saying is is when you say you're going off of good faith, okay. thanks for talking to me by the way. I'm not I'm not a violent or belligerent person. I'm a very reasonable person. I looked at my maps ahead of time, I looked at my statues. And by the way, I don't refuse to leave. When someone tells me to leave their property, I leave. Okay. Uh, but when it comes to reasonable suspicion, probable cause, there is exculpatory information. All I have to do is tell you that I, I've looked at a map and you have the capacity to go look at that right now in the face of what he's telling you. And the fact that you decided not to really concerns me, and that's where I'm going to have to sue you. Um, I want to get your information, and then I will go look and see what our map shows. But I also have worked here for 10 years. This property all belongs to the oh, mall. Oh, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. So I don't know that I necessarily need to go look at a map to see that this island belongs to them when this is not a city property right here. What I'm telling you is that the property line is somewhere between here and there. And I'm telling you that I looked that up and I made sure that I was on what this you, side. What do you want to know about this property? I'd like to okay. I, I, I'm, I'm being as honest as I possibly can. Honestly, okay. if you feel like you're mistaken, ask you what it's excited or just remove it? I'm just throwing this out there. I'm not one that, well, to, if I that do, wants to deal with this. You know, if you feel like there's some sort of just silly disagreement that you can't trust that map uh, or whatever, earlier you know, when I I want to say this, cut me a citation or whatever, but like... Nobody's going to write you a ticket. All we're asking is for you to move along if, if he doesn't yeah, want you here. I will if you guys determine that this is his property. What I'm saying is that live, we haven't determined that yet, I have, and I just want to, I don't want to have to do your guys' job for you. I'm, you know, it's kind of like, um, I don't want to show my receipt just to show that I'm innocent at a, leaving a Walmart. You know, you guys have the obligation or security guards. Okay, so you want a ticket or you just want to go home today? Because he, he's willing to not press charges if you leave and don't come back. Or you could stay and we can write you the ticket for being here because he told you earlier not to be here. Now they called us. They're an authorized agent for us to trespass. We can go that route. We're not going to stand here and have a constitutional discussion in a median on private property which belongs to them. What do you want to do? Stay, ticket, or go? I I have rights. Two choices. I don't want to be arrested, but I do want a citation. If that's what you guys have You want to a do, ticket for trespassing? I, I feel like I would have go? A, I would have a pretty good argument for court. I think so. I don't give a shit about court. So I just don't want to be custodially arrested. I'm not. I got medical problems, man. I don't really want to go to jail. And I'm not. Why would you not just reason. leave and find a different place to stand? Again, because I have done my absolute best homework, and so far you, neither one of you have. And we're rushing things. And this is what happens when I have so many freedom freedom lawsuits. Things always drop before court because you guys end up doing kind of the other half of your investigation. And like I said, I tried to start off on the foot of public property. I, I mentioned it to this gentleman, uh, you know, as soon as he showed up. The sidewalk right here, so, this is all, the sidewalk is public. Aside from that, this is, this is not, this is all their property. In terms of where the parcel line goes, that's okay. all I'm saying. I'm, I'm not yeah. gonna argue with you yeah, Exactly, I, I understand some things are meant for court, I think some things are not meant for court. Um, I just, I just really, I'm really sorry that you guys disagree with me without simply going with being that person. So, I'm, again, I'm, I'm really. Did you get a date of birth on him? Seven seven of nineteen eighty five. So. Okay.
I'm a cooperative person. I just I put on cooperative should have just left again. We avoid all of this. Yeah, yeah, I, have, I have rights, and you know, and it, when it comes to so do they. And if they ask you to leave, you leave. But keep in mind, have you okay. asked him okay. if he seen a map yet? It was on property. Well, that's between you guys. You should have looked at the map. before anybody told me anything. And but you knew where the line was, right? Of course. And I also know where my rights are in that if I decide to have an argument with an officer or a security guard over it, I can start my argument over here. When I was over there, no one told me to leave. It's because you ran the other direction. Hey man, there's a little bit of wiggle room in these types of scenarios where if I'm not told to leave yet, I'm not in refusal to leave. I know where your property line is. You walked up to me and you said, leave now from right there. And I had been standing here at this exact moment in time then. I'm not a refuser to leave her. Is that your property over there? That is. I just, I'm, I just, I don't know how else to stress it enough, but I'm not a, I, I almost died last time I was there. And that was over a issue that also got dropped because I was on, in that case, a private drive that they thought was public. And it was some police officers. That, that, it wasn't a security guard issue. It was just police officers enforcing a public road on the anti solicitation laws. Westminster. And so when it comes to knowing jurisdiction, maps, things like that, you know, you guys have tools at your disposal. And, Unfortunately, I've happened to catch a, a couple of you guys a lot now that basically are sort of guilty until proven innocent, and they just kind of pick us up first, and then they sort of exonerate us after the fact. Like, I can tell you 100%, I know this isn't going to be convicted in court. I also have a sneaking suspicion that this is the type of thing that had you guys inquired into my exculpatory evidence. I've asked you to show me the map, and you won't. Have I not? Well, show me the map that shows where your property line is here. Bird, bird of proof. Okay, you know, like take it to court. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and in court, I ne technically speaking shouldn't or wouldn't have to show that either, anyways. Okay. Well, we don't you have maps go. that will show us whether the property line is six feet in from the curb and all that kind of stuff. Actually, this is their property right actually here. Actually, you do. I'll, I'll, okay. Yeah, I think you do. Absolutely. I'll tell you where I got your map from. I just googled Longmont maps. It was. Uh, Longmontgov.com or something like that. It's so you, did you not go to the Boulder County Assessor's page and actually see the property line? Oh, I've seen that too. Yeah, yeah, Okay. You guys have your own too. It was your subdivision, man. And it shows aerial and it shows lines where property lines are. It's no, there, there, there's no wishing wish. I'm not like standing halfway on the line, halfway on the line. I'm, I'll admit, I'll, I'll give you as much exculpatory evidence as I'm willing to give you. I am several feet away from that property line. And had you guys looked, I, I told him that, I don't know if I recall telling you to look at a map, but you should probably go look at a map, buddy. For future reference and for the next guy that's out here. All, all I can say is that if I'm right, you know, naturally we'll get dropped to court. Uh, but nevertheless, it would be a big travesty if you didn't charge this gentleman with submitting false information to the because I gave him a lot of information before he calls you and as he was calling you. And at this point, that's not just like a being mistaken accidentally. That's like borderline on mens rea, like that he's trying to get out of it by not admitting it. So if I'm totally, 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 totally 100% right, there's got to be a check and balance in this world. It's kind of like, um, uh, at a Walmart, I didn't show her once, 
and they detained me while they decided to start an investigation, so that's not reasonable suspicion. You don't have reasonable suspicion to stop someone when they just want to be out of here. But nevertheless, while they held me, they uh, went and got some information that they claimed that I did pay at the register, and that was false information. William, is the Fort Collins address still good, or are you camped uh, around here somewhere? There's a 305 West Magnolia Street, PMB 221. You prefer that one? Yeah, that's my permanent address. Okay, 305? Yes. 305. West Magnolia? West Magnolia Street. I'm really sorry, I just... It's okay, you know, man. P Did you say there was a, a unit or a it's, a, a, it's called a PMB for private mailbox. Okay. 221. 221, number 221? Yeah. Okay. Not, not P.O. Box, they get they don't like that. I just listed as number 221. Perfect. What city is that officially? That's Fort Collins, Colorado. It's Fort Collins, okay. 80521. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I promise I don't have any warrants out. I'm not a violent person. <laughs> I just, no, you just have a couple of texts. Yeah. What did you say that the zip code was? 80521. 521? Okay. Yeah. Hey, um, do you have a good telephone number also? I do. Uh, What's nine, that, sir? 970. 970. 412. 412. Five four six three. Five four six three. Okay. You're Jay McNulty. Can I get your business card? Sure. I don't know my, if I can get my information is on the bottom of the summons okay. and I've served one to you before. Deal. Um and then I don't know if we can get his business card, but I know you I got your name right there, so you know. Boy. So sure. I just um I tried. I, I really tried to work with you guys. You know, I guess you'll be hearing my lawyer. So, so here's, it's a stress mass of us. I mean, you know the drill with I us. understand. So I understand. The, the court date is 9-11-2018 at 9 o'clock in the morning. Deal. And that's that's municipal court, so it's here in Longmont. It's up at 225 Kim Park. I will be here. Okay, so there's I the promise. court date on it. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, there's, the, it's just the trespass right there. And then here's today's date and the time and just the location. If you have any questions about that, the courts is right back here as well as the address. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. No uh, worries, man. With this, I will concede and I will move along. Okay. Uh, but not, you know, they will be under duress. I, I get it, man. It's I, fine. I don't want to be arrested. Want to, I just want to stand out here and have us get in an accident yeah. or have somebody come run into us while we're having this talk. You guys got a more important so, job to do. No, than it's, this. it's cool. Man. Just a heads up because okay. I've seen you there, but I didn't have a chance to talk to you about it. This space over there off of Nelson and Hover, kind of by where the King Supers is, between the King Supers and the and that McDonald's over there. Yeah. I think I saw you over there last week at some point. That is all private too. That That's, is private. I just looked at maps for that. Okay. Absolutely. All right. I'm just letting you know that the, all those medians over there are also private, just to quell oh, that yeah, conversation yeah. from happening now. And right. the owner that owns that stuff owns everything from Nelson Road all the way down to Clover Basin. Oh yeah, I've looked at the map. Okay, yeah. and that's fine. And you he and he went he went straight out tres trespasses for that stuff. I'm just giving you that heads up. Oh ahead yeah, of time. yeah. I guess I'm patiently waiting to see if somebody ever cares enough to come out and say something. Okay. With that's that fine. being an actual private drive, which I do know is private. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this one I I tried to explain to you guys using the maps that you have that your city has offered me that okay. I am several feet away from your your private property. Okay. So. Well, I'm going by the authorized agent, what they want to do, and they said they've already talked to you about it once, so the second time they, they want you to trespass and you wouldn't just willingly leave, that's why we're going with the ticket. Otherwise, you could have just quit, dude, okay? Yeah. So, um, just to clarify, um, there are several different versions of the word trespass. So, I got a municipal code trespassing charge for okay. refusing to leave, just okay. an outright order to leave. Okay. Is that all that this is? I'm telling you that you're being cited for trespassing from this location because the private property owners asked you to leave and you did not. That's what we're going with. If you want to talk about the particulars of it, come to court on that date and we can do it then. We're not going to do it now. Okay, so this okay. is a statutory trespassing. It is a statutory municipal charge municipal for trespassing. Charge for yep. trespassing. That's it. Yes, sir. Okay, deal. I'll take it. I'm really sorry for the trouble, guys. It's fine. Uh, it, it I is just didn't want to be thrown in jail. I just about the other one because I'm trying to keep yeah. you out of, out of additional charges. That's it. And, and as I said to this gentleman, um, I tried to explain to this sir here uh, before, um, if not during, that he needs to look at his maps and so forth. And that this is my argument for the 42 USC court. Thanks for listening to me with this last speech. But basically what I'm trying to say is, is that if this gentleman turns out to be wrong, and I had offered you information that you could have double checked, that you seized me without 
probable cause. Yeah, I get where you're going with it. Do your thing. Whatever. And, I don't and, care anymore. and the last thing is, is that you would have to charge him with falsifying we're information. We're, we're done with this conversation right. for now. He we're lied to you. Charged. He yeah, lied to you. Every, and you guys lies. would have to charge him. That guy is lying to you. That is an illegal man right there. Property line is one feet, one foot behind that white line. That's where the property line is. You guys didn't look it up. I'll see you in federal court. <laughs>